Hello everyone, Peter Harrison here. As we can't make music with friends and colleagues in these troubled times, I'd like to share some of my research into solo music for the flute. The flute was a very popular instrument in the 18th century, particularly with gentlemen amateur players. This is the kind of instrument they played. It divided easily into four joints, which could easily be carried in a large 18th century coat pocket. The portability of the instrument made it ideal for impromptu music sessions, perhaps to accompany singing or dancing. To satisfy the market for music for this popular instrument, a number of collections were published. Dublin, in the mid-18th century, was a well-known centre for music. In 1742, Handel's Messiah received its first performance there. In 1777, John Lee, a music seller in the city, in Dame Street, published his pocketbook. As well as a sprinkling of Irish tunes, the pocketbook contained an agreeable variety of the newest, most celebrated airs, duets and songs judiciously selected from the most famous operas, composed by the most admired authors, and all for two and eight pence halfpenny.
For me, the most interesting pocketbook was published by Thomas Cahuzac in 1795. Cahuzac was one of the best known makers of woodwind instruments in 18th century London, selling his music and instruments from his warehouse opposite St Clement's Church in the Strand. This very flute was made by Cahuzac in about 1790. It's turned from boxwood, which has been stained this dark colour. There are six finger holes and a single silver key. With ivory mounts, this flute would have cost about 10 guineas, a plain instrument, perhaps 10 times less. In addition to the pocket books, there were monthly magazines published for flute players. And in 1787, in Harrison's new German flute magazine, the entire Messiah was published in monthly instalments arranged for solo flute. Here's part of the Alleluia Chorus.
I'm hoping through my video to raise funds for the Railway Children Charity. I've seen the excellent and committed work the charity does, particularly in India, to rescue children from abuse and exploitation. Please consider making a donation. The website is railwaychildren, all one word, dot org, dot uk. Thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe and happy music making.